Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, we're gonna rank the top 10 fantasy quarterbacks. Fantasy football season is here and your draft may be happening soon. So wanna help you out. And this is all in my opinion. So if you don't like it, that's fine as well. Hey, just take my opinion, take my thoughts and see if it works for you. So these are the top 10 quarterbacks you should draft fantasy. I'm gonna rank these in order. So if you like this fantasy content, make sure to like this video and let's hop right into it. First and foremost, we are gonna start off with tier one. Well, just all in order. Josh Allen, to me, is definitely a tier one quarterback. Um, he has a lot of interceptions, which is, you know, a problem. He had 29 passing touchdowns and he had 15 rushing touchdowns. I believe that was career high. Um, that's outstanding. Like a dual threat quarterback. I mean, Josh Allen, to me, is the guy you want because he puts up a good amount of yards. He puts up a good amount of touchdowns and he will rush for he has rushing yards, rushing touchdowns as well. Like combined that's 30 was at 40 44 touchdowns that's outstanding i think he's i think he's tier one i think he's number one right if i'm looking to get a quarterback josh allen be now i know they don't have um stefan diggs so you know he lose a weapon but i mean he still has his legs i think josh allen will still be still be fine anthony richardson is also in the top 10 and i know the cincinnati Bengals they had a joint practice with anthony richardson and they were kind of cooking him saying that he is he can't do this he can't read coverages he's this and that um, but he has a great head coach and Shane Steichen who's going to take advantage. I know Anthony Richardson is not probably fundamentally sound as a quarterback. He was very raw coming out of college, but um, having a head coach like Shane Steichen definitely is going to get the most talent out of you early on as you develop in your career. So put him at tier two right now. Um, I think they're going to use his legs a lot. Now he just has to learn how to slide. That's that's the key. If he doesn't learn how to slide, then he's going to be injured forever. But he learns how to slide and he'll develop and you know shane steichen's a hell of a coach he's definitely gonna have a pretty good season i'd probably say maybe like let's say like three three thousand ish passing yards and probably like six seven hundred rushing yards and the touchdowns i believe he's gonna have a lot of rushing touchdowns probably have like eight or so i think he's gonna really uh do well there because you know that they have to utilize every bit of his talent and there's there's no gardner Minshew behind him i think maybe joe flacco behind him but he got the job um, CJ Stroud, I'm putting ahead of Anthony Richardson. I know I think a lot of fantasy football rankings have Anthony over CJ. I think CJ just being a more proven player and he has legs. He had three rushing touchdowns last year, which isn't anything extreme, but um, I just believe with natural progression. I mean, he had 23 passing, but you know, he's going to have more weapons. He's had Stefan Diggs. He has Nico Collins, Tank Dell, Don Schultz. Um, so there's a ton of really good offensive talent for him. And with the ability to also use his legs and maybe get three to five, maybe five rushing touchdowns on the season, I think uh, CJ Stroud, he's just more proven than Anthony Richardson at this point. So I'm gonna have CJ Stroud over him. I'm also gonna put, let's say Kyler Murray. I'm put Kyler Murray behind. I was thinking I'll put him ahead. I'm gonna put him behind. He came in last year and he was really solid. I think he was top 10 in fantasy for quarterbacks from when he started to when he finished the season. So he played good ball, I, you know, adding a Marvin Harrison Jr. I think is outstanding, right? Like Marvin Harrison Jr. Is a, should be one of the better rookies, but he's one of the better rookie receiving prospects in history. So adding that to your team, I think it should be good. So I think Kyler Murray's gonna have a really good bounce back season. I think I put him tier two. He's kind of maybe maybe tier three ish because he might be like I don't know. It's kind of un, you know ambiguity. I don't know how good he's gonna be, but I'm putting him at um I put him there. Um, Dak, Dak Prescott. Very interesting. I'm not gonna put him ahead of CJ. I might put him ahead of Anthony though. Dak is a good fantasy quarterback. They get a lot, cause the thing is even when like when they're blowing teams out, he does, he puts up a lot of points. When they're getting blown out, he puts up a lot of points because he gets the garbage time yards. Look at that Green Bay game. That wasn't a playoff game, but it was, you know, garbage time yards. So, you know, a lot of times you look at the game script and when I look at the game script, I mean, Dak, the Cowboys, you, they, they, he's going he's gonna to be heavily involved, and they don't have no running game for real. They have Ezekiel Elliott, but I just assume they're going to pass the ball a lot. I think that's going to be their game script a ton. So I'm going to put him pretty high. I'm not putting him at a CJ, but I'm low-key putting him at Anthony Richardson just from the fact that if I'm looking at game scripts and the talent around him, he's probably going to be passing the ball a lot. So put him there. Patrick Mahomes, I'm not putting him ahead of Josh Allen. I will not put him ahead of Josh Allen. He is, obviously, he's Mahomes. He had a down season last year. Obviously, don't count the playoffs. You know, he's a main character. Bit of a down season, but if I'm picking quarterbacks, I'm not picking Mahomes first. I'm picking Allen due to uh, the rushing 
touchdowns and all that like he's gonna rack those up but Mahomes is a safe bet like he's gonna get certain games will have four or five touchdowns like he's he's really safe like honestly you could pick either one of these two and you probably wouldn't feel some type of way right you gotta pick him probably in the second round maybe third round depending on how your team depending on how your fantasy league is probably someone might pick this guy in the first round somebody might pick i know there's people gonna pick Mahomes in the first round in your fantasy league i know it's just like it's Mahomes. he's the main character um so i'm putting i'm putting Mahomes behind allen but if you pick Mahomes, then it, it should be no problem um a guy i'm picking over Mahomes is jalen hurts though jalen hurts is an outstanding fantasy quarterback he's outstanding i mean he is a brilliant fantasy quarterback i think last year someone made a trade for jalen hurts for something stupid i got so pissed and i wanted to veto it as the commissioner because that made no sense jalen hurts is a guy who the running backs don't get a lot of touchdowns i don't know how many touchdowns uh whoever they're running i forgot who their running back was last year i don't know how many touchdowns he had but jalen hurts he gets two rushing touchdowns all the time he's gonna get his two touchdowns all the time at least two they use his legs a lot when they get to that goal line the the uh that push with the Philly push or whatever it's called, the tush push, that is money. That is a fantasy, fantasy heaven. That's two. If it's at the one, now they don't have Jason Kelsey. So I don't know if that's going to affect, I don't, I don't know if that's going to affect their ability to do that. I mean, I may have some, it may have some effect, but I don't think it's going to be something too significant. But that is an outstanding quarterback to have for fantasy. He may have his bad games, but Jalen Hurts, he got a good deep ball. He got some great weapons, and he run the ball, and they get touchdowns with him running the ball. That is a A1 fantasy football option. I'm going to put the next person. I'm putting Lamar Jackson. I'm putting him behind Jalen Hurts. I'm putting him ahead of Patrick Mahomes. Like I said, the rushing ability. To be honest, Lamar Jackson, one MVP, didn't have a crazy season last year. Now, I went and looked at his stats. He had 24 passing touchdowns, and he had, I think, like, six five or six rush i mean rushing touchdowns like he didn't he didn't have a crazy season like if you look at his numbers his season wasn't like oh that's clearly the mvp in terms of like what he did it's just how his team performed and how he performed in big moments got him the league mvp but he didn't have a crazy season but he played the whole season and did his thing so actually loki i think he might have a new better he might have a better season this year um but he's a guy who can get you a thousand rushing yards for a season he gotta give you probably three thousand passing a thousand rushing and he can get you over 10 touchdowns. He didn't have it last year, but he can do it. So if if I'm looking for who should I get in fantasy, I'm definitely getting for, looking for a guy who could do that. So I'm putting Lamar Jackson third, but Jalen Hurts, that tush push, that's goaded. It's goaded. So I'm putting that tush push over there. Um, Joe Burrow, you know, I don't know. I might put you tier three. Man, that's crazy, right? I don't know. Like Joe Burrow is a great fantasy option. I just feel like he's a very safe option. He might be. I don't know. That's a that's a tricky one. I might actually trade. I might trick this. I might trick this. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put you here and I'm put you here because I'm, I'm trying to figure out. I feel like Joe Burrow is so safe as an option that it made more sense to Kyler Murray because Kyler Murray, you kind of have to figure. He may be good. He may not be. Well, we have to see. But he has Marvin Harrison. Joe Burrow has T Higgins, Jamar Chase. Hopefully, Jamar Chase plays. But when Joe Burrow plays football for a season, he has outstanding numbers. Like, look at his 2023. No, it's 2022. And look at his 2021. His numbers are off. They're off the charts. They're outstanding. But then his 2020, you know, his last year, he, you know, he gets injured. And, you know, they label him injury prone. But he got injured his rookie season. He got injured um, last year, you know, and you know, two out of four seasons. But when Joe Burrow was playing healthy, he got 4,600 yards and 30 touchdowns. Like it's 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 an outstanding performance. So I'm gonna put him at tier two, and I'm putting Jordan Love, who I think is probably number ten, tier three. Definitely, he had a great rookie ish. You know, he's rookie kind of rookie season, um, and he has a lot of expectation, and he played well. But you gotta you know back it up and do it again, and you know second in the league in touchdowns is very impressive. But it's just can he do it twice? So. You know, Jordan Love, I'm put him put him tier three. He may change that. He can definitely just keep improving. And he has a very, very friendly system. We got a new running back who should help him out. Uh, some pretty good receivers, but you got, you got to prove it again. So this is my list. These are the top 10 quarterbacks. This is my order. I think Josh Allen, if you got, you know, he should be pick number one in your league. Jalen Hurts, you should pick him. Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, those are tier ones. Um, CJ Stroud, Dak, Anthony Richardson, Joe Burrow, tier twos. And I think Kyler and Jordan Love's tier three. Obviously, there's a very good excuse to put Kyler in tier two, Joe in tier three, all of them in tier two. You know, you can, you know, it is what it is. But regardless, that's what I believe. That is my opinion. So get these guys on your team. Get one of these top 10 players 
probably in the third or fourth round. Somebody gonna pick up my homes in that first round. So I'm just telling you, I'm prepared for it right now. Somebody picking up my homes early. So get ready for that if you, because people love to do that. But that is my opinion and advice. Take it. If it doesn't work out for you, it's my, that's why it's just my opinion. Hey, right. for more content like this, more fantasy content like this, make sure to like this video. Also, I did a video where I rank people that you should draft number one overall right here. It's doing pretty well. So go give that video some love, give it a like and give it a comment. And um, thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.